Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a Q&A and I thought it would be a great way for you who are already subscribed to get to know me a little bit better and those who aren't subscribed to get to know me, love me, and subscribe. <laughs> but I don't have a name for what I want to call this yet so if you have any ideas make sure to comment them down below and maybe I'll feature it on my next name for the series. So instead of babbling, let's get started on the video. <laughs> Right, let's get down and cozy. But the first question, it's from Crystal Allen, and she asks, what is your favorite video game? And this is literally probably one of the most tough questions I, does that make sense, most tough? Anyways, I'm going with it. One of the most difficult questions to answer because I love video games and frequently change up my favorites because the one I'm most addicted to right now. But one of my all time favorites have been Assassin's Creed. But I've kind of slowed down on that for some reason. I don't know. I just can't like get into it again right now. So right now I'm playing the new Uncharted game, which is super, super awesome. And I totally recommend if you like adventure games and kick an ass to play that game. <laughs> so that is definitely my favorite right now. But it changes pretty quickly. The next question is from Savannah C. And it's five weird things about you. And I'm telling you right now, the probably weirdest thing is it took me so long long to think of these and I still can't think of good ones. I was sitting there trying to think of them because like, there's so many weird things about me and I couldn't think of any. So, so sorry if these suck. <laughs> but I wrote down one of the big things was you don't like Tostitos cheese dip, like the really thick cheese dip. I loved that stuff. Loved it. And I used to, of course, eat it with like the Tostitos. But, in desperate need, when I ran out of those, I would just eat it with my the spoon or my fingers, like a caveman. <laughs> so yeah, I would do that. And if you want to learn more weird facts, better ones, from my get to know me that I did a, like a year ago, it will be right up there. So watch that. The next thing is, I know this is like a phenomenon I've seen on Facebook, but I am one of those people that washes their hands after they do the dishes. I don't know, do you do that? Because I feel like you just wash dirty dishes. So you want to have like clean hands after you finish. But that could just be me. <laughs> Let me know if you do that because I want to know I'm not alone. Uh, the third thing, third, is I reread read like books. Like a lot of people will read a book and then they'll be like, I'm done. I'm going on to reread other books, explore. No, I like reread my same core books a lot. So, like, I almost feel guilty because I'm like, I already know the story, but, like, I forget it. So it's like a whole reading it, right? We'll go with that. Fourth thing is... Oh, I don't... I couldn't even read that. Um, <laughs> I don't know. This is so random. But you know when you get, like, a hangnail? But, like, at night especially when you're about to go to sleep and you realize a hangnail? Like, I literally cannot go to sleep until I, like, clip the hangnail. Like, it will drive me crazy. I don't know. I... I don't know, I think that's weird. Oh, and then when I buy like new clothes, no, you know what, this one, I'm not even gonna put that one in. What I'm gonna put in is actually a weird one that I've been, just thought of right before I filmed this. I have two different size big toes. I'm not gonna show you because nobody needs to see these big toes, but they're like literally two different sizes. Like, I don't know if anyone else sees it, but I totally see it and it bothers me all the time. Like, I don't, I prefer my left big toe. So the right one is just kind of there. Like, get out of town. You hear? Little P, go to the market and don't come back. Actually, I need you, little P. I need to stop now. <laughs> the next one is from Industry Feeds, and it is, where is your dream place to travel and why? And it would be Santorini, Greece, um, because it's beautiful, and I mean, it's sort of the traveling pants, but... I think it would just be such a cool place. I've seen so many YouTubers go there and I'm like, I need, I need to go. So that's, that's my dream place and that's why. Shayla Julie asked if you could be the owner of any business store slash company, um, which one would you want to own? And it would be like a humane society. I would love to be helping animals and saving them. I think they deserve so much more respect than we often give them. I, I think they just all deserve to be saved. And when I watch the videos of like them being saved, it makes me want to cry, but it also makes me want to be a part of that and be a part of something that is helping to save them and do my part. 
So that would definitely be a store or company I would own. Next question is from Dega. I've literally been friends with her so long and I've never asked how to pronounce her Instagram name. She of course asked why you're so pretty, but thank you, thank you Amanda, but that's so sweet. But why are you so pretty? That's what I have to ask. The next one from her is what's the worst... Seriously? Seriously. This video is cursed. Okay, I'm super sorry if the lighting sucks. My light just died because I don't check anything. Video I've filmed it like once before and the lighting sucks, so hopefully this is okay. <laughs> but she asked, what's the worst date you've ever been on? And um, I've been on a couple dates and not a lot of them have been great. <laughs> but this one especially is stuck and it was, I met him online and I like, I could almost tell the picture was kind of fake because it looked kind of fake. But it was like this athletic guy running in the picture and I was like, that's weird. But like, to each their own, I don't know. So I was talking to him and then eventually he led me out to coffee and I was like, kind of have to go because like I always feel obligated to go because I'm weird. But anyways, we went and I asked him previously on the day of the date to send me a picture. Kind of my way of like saying, I think you're catfish, but like I, I did it so I was like, oh, so I can make sure I know I'm, I find you and he like kept avoiding it and kept avoiding it and then I was like at this point I know what I'm walking into but like I, I don't know why I didn't cancel but I like got there and of course it was a totally different guy who showed up he was a lot heavier and he did not look like the guy in the picture at all and I like didn't know how to leave so I was stuck there because I didn't it was so awkward I didn't know how to say like get me out so my mom ended up saving me but it was quite the adventure and definitely a date I don't want to relive. <laughs> she also asked what's your favorite food and I gotta say right now there is a vegan fast food truck that came to us and it has like a vegan Big Mac. Let's just all take a moment of silence. It's delicious, okay? So that's my favorite food right now. Talia asks if you haven't, or Talia asks if, asks who are your some, wow, I cannot speak. Talia asks who are some of your fave small YouTubers? And I gotta say, it is Chelsea Giles, Hannah Marie Makeup, Hailey's Corner, and all of the girls I'm in the Twitter chat with. And I will link all of their channels down below and you should definitely go check them out. If I missed listing you, I'm so sorry. There's too many to name. But I just, I think all small YouTubers work hard and it's tough because you're trying to get noticed and trying to put out great content. So yeah, I just appreciate you all and you all have fantastic channels. And she also asks if you could visit five countries this year, where would you go? And I would go to Spain, Hawaii, I want to go back to Holland, outside of Amsterdam this time. Uh, I would go to Santorini, like I said, and then I would go to England because England is my other background and I really, really want to see more of that and I don't know, it just seems like a beautiful place. I mean, it rains, but like it's so beautiful and like just go on <laughs> oh, my and Alicia asks, the last book you read and slash your favorite book. And the last book I read fully was Untamed. I'm now in the next one called Hunted of the House of Night series. And that kind of leads into my favorite book. I'll pick one. Ooh, I don't think I could pick. I don't think I could do it. I love the House of Night series. It's I've talked about it before, but this is the series that has stuck with me, I feel like, through my whole life. Like, I started reading it in grade school and I still continue to this day. I love it. And they're releasing new books, so I'm super excited. So that is like my fave. All of them. All of them are my favorites. <laughs> she asked who my fave root. Wow. She asked who my favorite band is. And I my favorite singer is Sia, but it's not a band. So right now my favorite band is Paramore because I think their music is so deep and relatable, and I just really, really like that. So I'm gonna have to say it. Paramore right now, but I I've been slacking on my music game. I'm listening to a lot. She asked my favorite place to travel as well, and that was Holland. It was such a fun experience, such a beautiful background to visit, um, delicious food. I mean, it was a trip of a lifetime, and I really wish I was vlogging at that point, but I just have to go back. 
symbol at that time. And then the last question is my favorite TV shows, and it will forever, forever be Supernatural because I would support my boys. So I love, love that show. But I also really, really enjoy Daredevil, and there's that new spin-off series with him in it. But I really, really like that show. I don't know. I like the story. I like everything about it. And um, that one is, you know, he's I. But yeah, that was all of the questions I have today. If you have any more questions for me, make sure to leave them down below and I'm going to do them in my next Q&A. And I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, definitely want to see your faces. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to head out. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week for a new video. Bye.